What's up, guys? Tony Ramirez here, and welcome to the garage. If you're into turning wrenches, fixing up cars, or just keeping your ride in top shape, you're in the right spot. I drop real-world tips, no fluff, just what actually works. So hit that like button, smash subscribe, and let's wrench smarter, not harder. All right, enough intro. Let's jump right Hi, in. everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean an ABS sensor. If you've been experiencing issues with your anti-lock braking system, a dirty sensor might be the culprit. I'll walk you through the steps to safely and effectively clean it, ensuring your vehicle's braking system functions smoothly. Whether you're a seasoned DIO or just looking to save some money on maintenance, this guide will help you tackle the job with confidence. Let's get started. A faulty ABS sensor, an electrical problem. It's also possible that the ABS hydraulic block or electronic control unit is faulty, or that its power supply has failed. In all cases, you need to carry out an auto-diagnostic to determine the source of the problem and act accordingly. If the fault is with an ABS sensor, simply replace it. But if the hydraulic block or ECU malfunctions, it will have to be replaced, and the bill will rise significantly. ABS warning light on and off, what to do? ABS sensors are located on the wheels of your car and play an essential role in the system as they are used to indicate wheel lock up to the ECU. In the event of a problem with your sensors, the ABS can no longer function properly. Here are the symptoms of an ABS sensor out of order. The ABS warning light on your dashboard lights up, your wheels lock during heavy. Braking, the car lacks stability in wet driving conditions or on ice if the ABS warning light comes on while you're driving or Stays on after you've turned on the ignition, it indicates a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Most often, the problem is caused by a faulty ABS sensor. It's possible to test the operation of an ABS sensor if you're warning. Light indicates a system fault. Using a multimeter, you can check the voltage of the electrical circuit between the sensor and the ECU. The measurement is taken in millivolt mode for accurate results. The voltage should increase as you turn the wheel. Be sure to check all polarities. How do I clean the ABS sensor? If your ABS warning light comes on, one of the sensors may be at fault. Located on the wheels, they often collect impurities that prevent them from working properly. By cleaning the ABS sensor, you can restore the system without difficulty or having to change any parts. Step 1. Put your car on a stand. Step 3. Clean and reassemble the sensor to clean your ABS sensor. Use a microfiber cloth and soapy water. If necessary, you can also use a brush to loosen rust and dirt. In any case, don't use any chemicals as this could damage the sensor. If the ABS warning light comes on while you're driving or stays on after you've turned on the ignition, it indicates a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Most often, the problem is caused by a faulty ABS sensor if the ABS warning light comes on while you're driving or stays on after. You've turned on the ignition, it indicates a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Most often, the problem is caused by. In conclusion, cleaning an ABS sensor is a straightforward process that can help maintain your vehicle's braking system and enhance safety on the road. By following the steps outlined, gathering the necessary tools, safely accessing the sensor, and using the appropriate cleaning methods, you can ensure that your ABS sensor functions effectively. Regular maintenance not only prolongs the life of your vehicle's components but also contributes to a smoother driving experience. Remember to consult your vehicle's manual for specific instructions and always prioritize safety. Thank you for watching and drive safely.